ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯ ಕಿಪಾಸಿಧ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಲಂಪಂಗುಂಘೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯಕ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಯ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ಯ ಪ್ರಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ್ಭಿನ್ನ ಧ್ಯೇಯಂ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಂಚನ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನುತಪಾಲ್ ಭವದ್ದಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ್ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನುಖಾಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧಾರ ಮುಫಾಲು ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜಬರೋ ಜುಗಧಾರ ಮುಪಾಲು ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತ ಭಾಮ ಭಾಗ 
नारायणो प्रियानंग मदापहार बरानुसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीजस च वक्षसी वशास्ति हृदय शंबी निशिंगमहम भजे हरे तुकी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे क्षमाश्रिता जे पद पल्लव प्लव महत्पद पुण्यजसो मुरारे भवाबुधिवत्स पदम परम पदम 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 यदिपदम क्षमाश्रिता जे पद पल्लव प्लव महत्पद महत्पद पुण्यजसो मुरारे भवाम बुधिर्वत्स पदम परम पदम 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 यदिपद विपदम नतीसा गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अनुकरण एंड अनुसरण दिस इज नॉट द सेम एक्सटर्नली यू कैन सी that it is one and the same you can see but it is not at all same gaudiya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramhansa jagat guru told that anusaran and anukaran both of them are not the same it looks like it is one and the same but it is not at all same like prabhupad always given one example to us like anugatya and dosha anugatya anugatya this is different and dosha anugatya means that to do oiling this is totally different from actual anugatya prabhupad actually speaking like anugatya and and flattering and to do oiling and flattering it is not at all the same in the same manner anusaran and anukaran it is it looks the same one and the same externally it looks the same that it is one and the same but it is not the same at all prabhupad speaking that that lo- lot of people they have this kind of misconception they are actually thinking that anukaran to do anukaran you can just give the title of anusaran that is actually just giving a misconception to all all the others that two words are there one is anukaran and other is anusaran and prabhupad speaking that like there is a play of drama going on prabhupad speaking like there is a play of drama going on in that one person one is actually playing the role of naraji maharaj like in shri vasangan you can see that in shri vasangan chandrashekar acharya bhavan in that means which we call chaitanya math at present 500 500 500 5 550 years back at the time of uh, uh, mahaprabhu's appearance mahaprabhu has just made one decision to do one drama he has just taken a decision to do one drama in this shrivas pandit has taken the form uh, has taken the role of naraji maharaj shrivas pandit ji and propa speaking that like uh, like in a drama in the team of drama uh, naraji 
someone is taking the form of naraji maharaj and he is acting like uh, naraji maharaj and he, someone has just given him the actual dress of a naraji maharaj okay then it is okay this actually drama in that drama in the team of drama naraji maharaj someone has taken the role of uh, naraji some dress is given of uh, naraji maharaj who is doing who has taken the external uh, dress of naraji maharaj like painting etc whatever is there he is just like naraji is taking the role of that that is called anukaran and and shri naraji the actual pathway shown by naraji maharaj the actual pathway shown by naraji maharan maharaj that kind of adarsh acharan that kind of total bhakti pathway what in order to just run on that that is called anusaran that that we are actually taking the adarsh acharan etiquette of naraji maharaj i will be just following in my life that pathway artificial that kritrim artificial uh, if you are making artificial kritrim you are making the kritrim in the form of artificiality that whatever uh, kind of things you are doing that kind of thinking you are doing that is actually called anukaran artificially you are making and actually when you are taking the pathway of uh, naraji maharaj and all the mahajans that is called anusaran that is called anugatya externally you can see uh, it is all the same both anukaran and anusaran but it is not at all same we actually sometimes thinking and we are having this kind of misconception as well we are all the time we are all the time thinking we are all the time thinking that our guru varga and prabhupad bhakti vinod thakur we are doing anusaran of them we are actually doing anusaran but but what is the actual vichar here if we will be doing that that we are we are in place of anusaran we are doing anukaran we are not at all doing anusaran at all but because anusaran is actually that is the actual pathway shown by the mahajans what they have shown that adarsh acharan what they have shown us only to do anukaran artificiality if you are doing them just copying them just by doing anukaran and that anusaran this kind of vichar this cannot be done at all this can't be done at all just by anukaran at the whatever the pathway of anukaran uh, anusaran is not at all possible anukaran means imitation to copy someone anukaran means to copy someone that exact what is the actual object that is you are just artificially copying that particular object that anusaran and anukaran this kind of uh, externally it looks all the same that like a chemical that chemical gold and actual gold there is a difference but externally you can see it is all the same externally it seems to be same externally you can see that uh, both the gold are same chemical gold and actual gold but it's not like that there is some lot of difference so anukaran means that to do acting just to do drama just playing one role that is called anukaran for each and every jeev inside their heart that in their bonded bonded state that there is one pravritti of hari naam that brahma pramad vipralipsa and karna part of all these four kind of four kinds of defects and faults will definitely be there in a particular in a jeeva brahma pramad vipralipsa karna part of these four things four kind of faults will definitely be there in a bonded jeeva in a jeeva we are actually thinking we are definitely uh, we are we are actually just uh, want to insult someone else uh, already ready to insult someone but at the same time we are insulting ourselves as well by our real self we are insulting that 
we are actually already uh, uh, giving cheating others and we just we are taking the name fame position whatever the actual arrangement is there it is just one kind of anukaran or this is this is not at all anusaran shrota pantha in shrota pantha anukaran when you have anukaran anusaran it can't be possible in shrota pantha that's why अनुकरण जस्ट बाई डूइंग अनुकरण अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ सम महाजन अंडर द इफ सम वन डूइंग अनुकरण अनुसरण इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल वी आर एक्चुअली जस्ट नॉट रिमेम्बरिंग दिस पॉइंट दैट्स वाई इन प्रेम भक्ति चंद्रिका वेदर रागवत राग वम चंद्रिका इन दैट वी आर एक्चुअली हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ वी आर फाइंडिंग सम काइंड ऑफ मिसकनसेप्शन दैट वॉट प्रोपात ऑलरेडी टोल्ड that siddh and sadhan in bit in the in that confusion what is creating we are creating that misconception that we are creating some kind of differences in that the jiva always having become the the jivas are becoming sahajya means that we are actually we are according to the mahajans we can do the anusaran of mahajans anukaran in order to do the anukaran of mahajans it is strictly prohibited it is strictly prohibited to do anukaran of mahajans that's why prabhupada actually speaking that in a sadhan state at in the sadhan state when in the sadhan state you are there when you are doing seva in the sadhan state slowly steadily when you are gaining maturity in the sadhan state and you are becoming seva mukh in the sadhan state gradually it will increase day by day that's varup siddhi it is actually we going inside the heart of a, a soft heart of a sadhak and inside the soft heart of a sadhak this kind of uh, uh, seva mood will definitely come inside his heart that what is actually he is developing inside his soft heart it is this is actually the um, development of greediness or lobe and what is actually discussing this greediness that definitely will be getting me more maturity and will become effective in vastu siddhi as well in sa- sadhan bhakti when you are leaving that and you are doing you you are doing bhav bhakti it is not at all possible propad always used to speak more uh, again and again that all those oh mahodays that is prem bhakti bhag bhakti and sadhan bhakti in this what kind of three difference is there in between these three bhakti you don't mistake it and don't forget it uh, what is the actual difference between if you, you can't uh, able to understand the difference then definitely you going to destroy your bhakti uh, life prabhupad always used to speak that sadhan bhakti that in the matured state slowly steadily that sadhana bhakti slowly steadily that by nishkapat sadhana bhakti that when it is coming in that matured state it is becoming bhav bhakti and that in most matured state it is becoming prem bhakti prabhupad giving one example like that amra phal that mango it is in a very uh, uh, unripped state you can just make chutney it in that in between state when it is coming you can uh, and there is another state that is called the topmost ripe state of a mango in all these three states of the mango all the three names in the three states all that is it is called mango only all the three states it is mango only but in the all the three states you can find there is lot of difference in those the three states of mango you just need to understand this point what propa speaking that according to nam bhajan that in madhur ras that you can get that uh, swarup siddh swiddhi in the in that sadha can get and how that uh, name fame position and pratishta how he'll be how he'll be going forward for that not at all possible in in the sadhan state that what kind of vichar what is there inside our heart we have taken that that we just need to take that in our life and we just need to uh, take that of particular object in our life definitely we have to attain that particular state uh, this should be our final goal so what he should be he will be talking apart from that 
so this all everything is actually told there Shriman Mahaprabhu and and what are there the Antaranga uh, Parshad Rup Raghunath Rai Ramananda Shri Jeev Goswami Pad etc all eternal Parshad and Goswami Vrinda and Shri Vindavanda Shthakur Mahashay Srila Krishna Skaviraj Goswami Shri Srila Narutam Das Thakur Shri Lavishwanath Baldev Jagannath Bhakti Bhakti Vinod Gaur Kishor and Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada these are all they cannot be they cannot go against the bhakti siddhant virod and they cannot go against bhakti siddhant they immediately they will be just rectifying the uh, situation when going against bhakti siddhant they cannot these all cannot uh, go against uh, cannot go against rasabhas and they cannot bear that rasabhas or whosoever is going against bhakti siddhant they cannot bear that at all it is already written in Chaitanya Chiritamrit. Rasabhas, if it is done, or some Siddhanta Virod is done, then Prabhu can't bear that at all. Rasabhas and Bhakti Siddhanta. Siddhant Varod Someone if it's Siddhant Varod just by hearing Siddhant Varod no, no Anand is getting inside the heart by hearing Siddhant Virod. You cannot get actual Anand inside your heart. You are because you will be feeling very much pain inside your heart. Those who are actually in actual they are Saraswat Gaudiya Guru Varg they are. That for normal people it is not at all there. They will not be feeling pain. Siddhant Virud. Just by hearing Siddhant Virud, you will not be getting Anand inside your heart. Maybe after becoming Purva Pakh, that Siddh state can you can attain that. That Bhakti Siddhant, that Shri Gaur Sundar. That Bhakti Siddhant, that is actually Gaur Sundar himself, and whatever the eternal Parshad of Gaurang, that is the actual life of them. Bhakti Siddhant is the only life of Gaurang Mahaprabhu and the eternal Parshad of Gaurang Mahaprabhu. It is their life, it is just like life for them. Bhakti Siddhant, it means that whatever the eternal Parshad, Bhakti Siddhant is the topmost uh, life for them. That's why Rupanu uh, Varg, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami Pad, that's why Krishna's, uh, Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami Pad, Rupanu Garva, in Chaitanya Jitamrit, he has written that. Siddhant, just by hearing Siddhant and just by realizing Siddhant that your heart will definitely go on to the lotus feet of Krishna and in a topmost way, in full fixed form, you will not be uh, having this kind of mood to just uh, leave Krishna, uh, Krishna's lotus feet. Those people, those jiva, for those particular jivas, that Bhakti Siddhant, they don't have any kind of knowledge regarding Bhakti Siddhant. That in their life also, in their life also, where that Nishtha will come in their life. From where Nishtha will come in their life. Nishtha is not at all possible. Siddhant. 
Siddhant just in order to understand the Siddhant Vichar that you will be just getting uh, manifested in uh, Krishna, Krishna Siddhant. Your heart will just get fixed in Krishna Siddhant. They, those who don't have any kind of Siddhant Gyan or knowledge of Bhakti Siddhant at all, those who don't have any kind of knowledge regarding Bhakti Siddhant, for them, they, their life is just like an ass. For a person, that whimsical attitude, that for any particular person, that kind of whimsical attitude which he will be having, that which is against actual Bhakti, Bhav, this actually, it is, it is Shiti Lata means that it don't they don't have any kind of intensity regarding bhakti siddhant at all because why because that those who are actually bhavuk those who are just showing actual those who don't have actual bhav inside their heart that they will be just to uh, be um, doing effort to do bhakti for them this they don't have any kind of intention in bhakti siddhant that is called it is called prachann bhav for any person who don't have any kind of siddhant gyan but still bhakti is there those who are uh, if some person or some person actually speaking to you that uh, s- inside them they don't have siddhant uh, knowledge of siddhant but bhakti is there that is totally wrong that is total uh, totally wrong bhav wrong bhavana they are in actual they are actually prachanna sahajya and these people they are actually prasan prahan sahaj prasan prachanna sahajya they are they are actually topmost sahajyas that krishna seva those who have Siddhant, those who don't have any knowledge of Siddhant Gyan, they don't have Bhakti at all. Those who actually are speaking that Maharaj, they inside they don't have they don't have Siddhant Vijar, but they have Bhakti. This is totally wrong conception. This can't be possible. Those people who are actually just making a show that they have a lot of Bhakti, that they are actually those who are showing this kind of Siddhant, they are actually all Mayavadis or Sahajyas. They actually speaking, they are speaking that they don't have any kind of Siddhan, so how they are actually having Bhakti? They are actually all doing Aparat. Just having Siddhan, Vichar, knowledge of Siddhan, Mahaprabhu actually speaking that Bhakti will definitely be there. Just only by that Guru Vaishnav Seva is possible. Just by thinking like that, it is totally wrong. That those who are speaking all Siddhan, Virod, they are all Siddhan, Virod. And after that, Mahaprabhu actually speaking that uh, in order to uh, do Guru Vaishnav Seva, those who have this kind of bhav, that they will definitely be destroying themselves from the Bhakti Rajya. They cannot get into the kingdom of Bhakti at all. Those who don't have any kind of Siddhant Vichar, but still they are thinking that uh, they are they can serve Guru Vaishnav. That those who are actually thinking like that, they are actually all the time thinking and remembering this point. That just by Siddhant Virod, having Siddhant Virod that we are doing Seva, that Krishna and Krishna Seva we are able to do. If we, someone actually thinking that in the kingdom of Bhakti, that kind of limit is there in that, that kind of uh, uh, line, that he will be definitely going very far, far away from that limit of Bhakti. They can't even come close to that line of Bhakti at all. All kind of wrong Siddhant they will be speaking, that's it. They are speaking all kind of wrong Siddhant and just by uh, taking their own Manodharma inside them, they will be following that and they are just taking the Visha of devotees, just like Rupa Nukraganuk devotees, they are all actually busy in that and Prabhupada speaking that they are actually very very far away from Bhakti. They are long away from Bhakti. Sometimes that kind of those who don't have any kind of tattva knowledge and they have this kind of misconception in them that maybe 
that uh, all kind of panditya and what kind lot, lot of scriptural analysis we have done they are thinking that they are actually getting uh, uh, established in bhakti that all kind of material panditya and lot of uh, shastras they have just uh, uh, remembered they, they are thinking that they will be just getting expert in the bhakti raj it is not at all possible that kind of material pandits and just by uh, just remembering all the uh, pandit uh, shastra it is not uh, the proof and some persons actually are thinking that uh, siddhant just by establishing that siddhant it is one kind of intellectualism in order to establish siddhant in some in play, uh, in front of someone some some uh, lot of people are thinking that it is one kind of in- intellectualism this is one kind of intellectualism they are thinking but this is just like a gymnastic feats some people actually thinking like that only that uh, siddhant is one kind of bhai just to cheat someone it just like that if someone actually thinking some person thinking that siddhant means siddhant actually is just like an empty uh, empty um, uh, faith the all the advocates all the advocates those all those advocates are there they what kind of advocacy they are doing that kind of logical interpretation and arguments all the time they are doing all the time in the advocacy that they are just to siddhant means just to be like an empty faith and that kind of logical interpretation or argument is just similar to that only just like an empty faith and they will be just doing like that but jeev go swami pasi la jeev go swami pas speaking that just by getting the krip of shri krishna chaitanya dev that's you can just get out of this material uh, sansar automatically श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु जस्ट टू टेक द शेल्टर ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक दैट for just by taking the shelter of the lotus feet of that gorang mahaprabhu that normal person even can get out of this material sansar that a normal jiva who is bonded jiva just by taking the shelter of the lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu those who take the shelter of the lotus feet just by the power of the kripa of that normal jiva or normal person can get out of that uh, can get out of the material sansar and that he is actually just uh, unable to take the pathway of bhakti that's why shri chaitanya dev that we are all the time doing the uh, vandana of shri gorang mahaprabhu's lotus feet glorification we are doing that this kind of material agyata that this kind of uh, that ignorance ship or vigyata that kind of vigyata or avagyata that bhakti siddh that bhakti siddhant vishay just by following that that kind of experience we have already gathered of the material experience we have gathered that kind of gyan and vigyan we are actually thinking that in the bhakti siddhant vishay what we are following that in bhakti siddhant vishay that paradarshi means they are just this is not the actual pathway to become expert in bhakti siddhant just by logical interpretation and arguments that kind of material avigyata or avidya material uh, material uh, studies and vigyata and avigyata both that in order to get established in bhakti siddhant it is not at all possible to that kind of achut shrila advaita charya achut श्री अद्वैताचार्य श्री दिस दिस आत्मा जो वन इज 
श्री सदाद्वाच आत्मा जो अछूत अछूत आनंद हिज सन जर्ज इन द फाइव इयर्स एज ही हैज जस्ट हाउ ही नोज द एक्चुअल समरी ऑफ ऑल द सिद्धांत विचार ऑफ भक्ति सिद्धांत जस्ट हिज फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड दैट सिट सम पर्सन एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू आस क्वेश्चनिंग अद्वैत गोसाई रिगार्डिंग दिस सम पर्सन एक्चुअली क्वेश्चनिंग अद्वैत गोसाई ही इज एक्चुअली क्वेश्चनिंग अद्वैत गोसाई दैट अद्वैत दैट हु इज द एक्चुअल गुरु ऑफ अद्वैत गोसाई दैट दैट अद्वैत गोसाई आंसरिंग हिम लाइक ईश्वर पूरी बात इज माई गुरुदेव एंड सन्यास गुरु इज केशव भारती immediately that small boy achyutanand he just was playing there and in the courtyard with all the children and he just immediately came there and in speaking in front of father in advait gosai in front of advait gosai he is speaking that small child speaking that you are actually you are the actual uh, manifest manifested uh, uh, prabhu and how you can just speak like this kind of siddhant in front of them you are actually a top most uh, bhakti and you are actually protecting the bhakti siddhant how you can speak like this the small boy speaking achutanand to advait gosain and that's why he started speaking achutanand what he started speaking to his father advait gosain he is just a 5 years old boy and he is speaking to father and has no kind of uh, material knowledge he has and he is actually started speaking siddhant which are in front of father that the whole uh, whole prabhu of all the 14 world is only krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu from krishna actually shri krishna jadan bande jagat guru has come in is not different that he is the actual uh, lord of all the 14 worlds and infinity brahmands that if some other person can be guru of that uh, topmost uh, brahmand nayak and that's why this is the actual thing what actually speaking that that is actually siddhant of sar he is actually speaking the actual summary of all the siddhant achutanand in front of his father whether in all this brahmand like his guru is in which shastra it is written that that who has taken the kripa of he has taken already accepting the kripa of guru from someone otherwise how it is possible that he can get uh, uh, is guru and who is actual guru of mahaprabhu that who is actual guru of mahaprabhu no one can be now you can think that point that is just a 5 years old boy just by hearing that thing from the siddhant vichar he is actually speaking the actual summary of all the siddhant vichar in front of his father like this this kind of siddhant vichar when he is hearing that uh, sada shiv advait gosai just become very much happy after hearing this kind of siddhant from achutanand guru acharya vaishnav all these can they can they can they are able to do the siddhant kirtan some they the some kind of manodharmi pandit or material pandit who has just a lot of knowledge about this material world and those who are actually just getting into this material world they can't have any kind of knowledge regarding bhakti siddhant at all they don't have any kind of siddhant which are regarding bhakti they don't have any idea the uh, regarding the greediness i was actually just discussing in front of you and how actually it is possible you can understand that this is the actual greed inside your heart and externally and internally both about this from last uh, days i was actually discussing about it in the english uh, hari katha i was actually speaking yesterday that uddhav ji maharaj inside uddhav ji maharaj inside the heart that kind of uh, association towards uh, gopikas and that adarsh acharan that kind of topmost prem seva that kind of speciality just by uh, seeing that when uh, he has uh, uddhav ji maharaj just came in the sambhad i have already just discussed this point in english harikatha maybe one and a half years back i have discussed this point that uddhav ji inside the heart of uddhav ji maharaj uh, that kind of uh, topmost uh, desire and greediness towards 
टू गेट दैट ब्रज भाव ही इज गेटिंग दैट इन साइड होम उद्धव जी महाराज इन साइड हिज हार्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रेटिनेस उद्धव जी महाराज थिंकिंग स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग दैट दिस इज इम्पॉसिबल दिस इज इम्पॉसिबल टोटली इन विच प्लेटफॉर्म वॉट द गोपिकाज आर द गोपिकाज आर हैविंग दैट काइंड ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म एट दैट प्लेस दैट पोजिशन एट दैट प्लेटफॉर्म इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट इट इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल टू गेट दैट बट स्टिल दैट काइंड ऑफ ट्रमेंडस ग्रीडीनेस इज ऑल द टाइम ही इज गेटिंग दैट और डिजायर गुद्दव जी मार इज गेटिंग इन साइड इज हार्ट दैट्स वाई वैन एक्चुअली जस्ट रिटर्निंग बैक फ्रॉम वृंदावन ही इज जस्ट स्टार्टेड क्राइंग एंड स्पीकिंग दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड ग्रीडीनेस और एंड ऑल दो सहजिया दे आर वॉट दे आर थिंकिंग इन साइड देर हार्ट ऑल द टाइम they are actually thinking inside the heart all the time some swarup they are thinking external swarup they are sahajiyas they are physically they are thinking and mentally are thinking of that physical swarup definitely they will get aparad inside their heart there is no doubt about that previously i have just discussed about the uddhav ji maharaj that kind of pravachan in the from the third canto उद्धव जी महाराज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट इफ इन समवन दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्चुअल ग्रीडीनेस ही इज गेटिंग इन साइड इज हार्ट दैट इन साइड इज हार्ट डेफिनेटली ही विल बी गेटिंग द सपोर्ट डेफिनेटली ही विल बी गेटिंग इन साइड हिज हार्ट ही विल बी गेटिंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ भगवान फ्रॉम इन साइड द हार्ट एंड एक्सटर्नली दैट भगवान स्वयं he is taking the form of uh, gurudev and he'll be speaking in the form of gurudev he'll just get avirbhav in front of us in the form of gurudev and he'll be giving us the instructions and inside his uh, inside our heart that he will be getting in the form of parmatma that kind of uh, taste towards that is to dev what is the actual pathway or the way out to get that that kind of uh, actual swarup we will be get manifested inside our heart automatically this is actually good but why actually this kind of greediness what is the actual pathway to get that actual greediness what is that greediness what is actual greediness what is so called greediness that in the previous birth what kind of uh, that kind of uh, actual bhagwat bhakt or guru vaishnav and rasik bhakt we must be actually must have done association with that then that, that's why in that birth according to that he has just got the guru gurudev he will be going towards that particular gurudev and and the previous birth if in this in this birth only he has got getting that kind of greediness to get gurudev then he after taking guru charan ashray taking shelter of guru charan you will be thinking and will be seeing that that in this uh, birth only how it is possible that in order to get the guru charan ashray after getting that only it is possible like that and if some somebody is questioning that from the previous birth he is getting that greediness definitely he will be getting the diksha from the previous birth yes definitely he got the diksha from his previous birth definitely diksha must have been done without diksha it is not at all possible that this kind of backing should be uh, there for that particular divine bhakti siddhant it is not at all possible without diksha and in sadhu sang it is very much important to do apart from that it is very much important to sadhu sang with that as well as well so inside inside the heart uh, as parmatma in in some person or in jeeva i we have just uh, seen the life that immediately that bhakti bhav is uh, we can uh, see inside him that definitely from the previous birth he will be getting the diksha and in the in the pathway of greediness lot of bhagwan has just uh, mentioned lot of facts about that like uh, in the uh, like malani that kind of vichar is totally different 
बट इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ सम जीवा दैट काइंड ऑफ भक्ति भाव वी कैन सी दैट डेफिनेटली हैजन टेकन दीक्षा डेफिनेटली फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस बर्थ सम संस्कार वॉज देयर डेफिनेटली एंड भगवान ऑल्सो हैज जस्ट टोल्ड सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग दिस दिस इज अ वेरी टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट वट इज एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच हेयर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग वेयर एक्चुअली हेयर एक्चुअली वेयर डिस्कसिंग वन पॉइंट दैट राग बतम चंद्रिका दिस इज दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग बट दिस राग बतम चंद्रिका वॉट वी आर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग हेयर इन दिस बुक in this if we are seeing that bhagwan is actually present there in as parmatma inside our heart and externally in the form of gurudev he is actually coming in the form of gurudev and he is actually helping all the disciples or devotees to get so that he can get uh, ahead in the way of rag mark or rag pathway and according to the vichar of shastra and according to the vichar of mahajans like in the jaiv dharma it is already written Like in the Jab Dharm, it is written. In the Jab Dharm, it is written that in Sri Nathpur, in Mayapur, there is Sri Nathpur. One place is there in Mayapur, and there are actually two boys from there. He just came to the Guru Nanak Das Baba Ji Maharaj, who is actually staying in Sri Vasangan and all the time doing seva in Sri Vasangan under the, his guidance. All both the boys actually came to the Guru Nanak Das Baba. and they have got a very lot of attraction they are feeling towards uh, baba ji maharaj and baba ji maharaj under his guidance under the guidance of baba ji maharaj they have got lot of harikatha kirtan and after that they have taken diksha also and after taking diksha from after long time both the both the boys both the devotees they have just uh, ragunath das baba actually has just actually questioning uh, those devotees how actually are uh, liking the bhav of bhagwan what kind of rasa you are actually want to serve bhagwan and he can understand that both the devotees have different kind of bhava towards bhagwan and what is actually written in jaiv jaiv dharm ragunath das baba ji maharaj actually those who have actually have getting attraction towards madhur ras accordingly he is actually guiding him in that guide means that he is actually this is your actual swarup you just need to do bhajan according to this and those uh, that devotee who is getting attraction towards sakharas and after that in uh, when he is getting more uh, ahead in the bhajan that in in the gambhari in the gambira temple there is actually disciple of gopal guru swami there is dhyan chand he has just uh, go, uh, went to gopal guru go swami there actually he is actually also explaining about according to his the shastras he is actually just uh, giving the, both the devotees the actual vichar what is according to their ras vichar he is actually speaking that you just need to go accordingly like that so gopal guru swami is speaking that so it means that after you are getting greediness towards that after that only this kind of association towards pure guru vaishnav that how we can get that actual uh, object how we can get that greediness toward actual object and under the anugatya of gurudev we can discuss that and slowly steadily that kind of greediness that object after just getting that that kind of chista is there all the time when it, this kind of manifestation is not at all there to get that particular object then that raganuga bhava big that the, the raganuga bhav that from the devotees lotus mouth whatever kind of feelings they will be getting imbibed inside the heart of the sadaks that just by hearing that from the lotus mouth of those pure devotees we can just get benefited out of that only then it is possible and sometimes it is also happened like that and sometimes uh, in the life of someone and in the life of someone we have already seen this kind of thing as well that kabhi kabhi kisi ka zindagi mein aisa bhi hota hai we have seen in the life of someone like that without bhakti shuddha 
दैट बाय भक्ति सुधा इन साइड देयर हार्ट दे हैव देयर हार्ट दैट इन साइड इन साइड हार्ट देयर हार्ट बिकम बिकम सॉफ्ट एंड देयर चित्त वृत्ति दिस काइंड ऑफ भाव इज ऑल द टाइम नेचुरली गेटिंग इनक्लाइंड दे आर गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड इन साइड देयर हार्ट नेचुरली ऑल द टाइम they don't need any kind of help regarding that maybe from the previous par they must be gathering that so sometimes that in some particular jeeva's life we can see this kind of result coming in their life in in the life of some jeeva that kind of bhakt sudha vidhut that kind of chitta vritti when they will be developing this kind of uh, uh, manifestation can be done you can see that uh, manifestation and inhibition in the particular jiva for those jivas definitely whether they are getting this kind of manifestation in that self or not whether that kind of self manifestation is that kind of bhava is getting inside particular jiva whether it is getting self manifested or not in order to get that kind of manifestation that kind of overflowing overflowing desire or greediness to get that kind of bhava inside there this all the time actually is non stop is going there and they are not at all doing any kind of drama uh, in front of some anyone jaise like that just by taking the material happiness in our life those who have taken the material happiness in their life just in order to taste that material happiness those who are actually having this kind of desire to get the material happiness in their life for them what what they have to do like that kind of top most material happiness in order to get that we just need to find out the actual way to get that material happiness that we i need that particular thing that material happiness and how actually is going in forward or definitely he has to uh, take that pathway and slowly steadily he will get that <coughs> particular object so it is the it is like that we just need to follow the process उसी शास्त्रों दैट दो शास्त्र ओनली वही शास्त्र दो शास्त्र दो सकल उपनिषद दैट काइंड ऑफ ऑल द उपनिषद्स जिन लोगों का एंड दोस पीपल मैं प्रिय हूं दैट आई एम एक्चुअली वेरी मच क्लोज टू दोस पीपल लाइक देवता दैट ऑल डेमी गॉड्स इष्ट वि जस्ट काइंड हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट i'll be getting that relationship according to that particular jiva i'll be finding that and in this vishay in this uh, thing in this uh, vichar bhakti ras ashadane madhasto si bhagavat puran shila narottam das thakur ji speaking vichar koriyam vicharhin that those who are vicharhin without any vichar that kind of acharan when you are doing without any kind of vichar all kind of uh, siddhant you are speaking it's all full of faults and it is of no value it is cost uh, valueless narottam das thakur ji speaking vichar kariya means that under the guidance of uh, anugatya of guru vishnu whatever we have heard that siddhant according to that on the basis of those that siddhant that is called actual siddhant what kind of vichar a bonded jiva can have bhakti ras asadane madhasto si bhagavat pura bhagavati mahapuran that in bhagavati mahapuran that is the top most amal puran uh, it, it is known there in between that we can understand and whatever siddhant what kind of vichar we are actually making to fir grahan karna we have to accept that accordingly what we need to accept and what not to accept that it already written in shri mahaji bhagavad gita mahapurana it whether it is uh, supported by bhagavad gita mahapurana or it is actually all valueless and according to that and in this shri mad bhagavad gita mahapurana only we can see that kind of pratipadit vishay what is that the actual calculative and attractive uh, vishay prabhupada actually speaking in regard to that that all the bhagavad gita mahapurana after uh, reading that if shrimati radha rani's name and gopika's name we are not taking the actual anusandhan of them then uh, it is all useless to uh, read bhagavatam it means that what i want to speak that in all the bhagavad gita mahapuran that krishna prem is the top most and in the 10th canto in between that shrimad bhagavatam that kind of radha rani prem and gopi prem that shriman mahaprabhu ji speaking that 
it means that this is the highest object what you will get it doesn't mean that each and every person will get that but mahaprabhu actually speaking that making this kind of vichar that is the highest object what a particular jiva can get apart from this nothing is more topmost it means that in order to do bhajan of bhagwan uh, under rag mark whether you are a braj gopi or whether you are shodha maiya or nand baba or whether you are uh, or uh, braj bala or friends of uh, braj they are can they are serving bhagwan according to their own uh, uh, status and bhava and in shri bhagwat ji mahapuran this kind of pratipadit bhakti ka vibhuti bolo si bhakti rasam that in bhakti rasam rit sindhu also it means that what is actually written in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran whatever actually is there and spoken there inside that that shila rupa swami pad prem ke sath is actually speaking with full of prema that kind of rasa, that rasam rit sindhu that is bhakti rasam rit sindhu what as we are getting the bhakti granth or shastra just by churning the ocean of all the bhakti shastra that all kind of bhakti granth what is written about the bhakti shastra that word what is written there in the shastra whether it is authentic some sahaji i feel be just uh, imitating that he can't accept that externally he can do like the case of banu goswami maharaj that shila banu goswami maharaj has in front of uh, prabhupad in a very silent place he has actually just expressed his uh, heart feeling towards prabhupad and prabhupad actually just by hearing that that this kind of bhav actually is coming inside uh, my heart prabhupad so what to do in that case prabhupad actually speaking that you do one thing that you it just two to four books prabhupad speaking that you just need to take sa niyam dadashakam ragunadas bhai ragunadas ko swami and bhakti man thakur also has written the sa niyam dadashakam that book and after that second book what is told that another two to four books uh, prabhupad actually speaking to ban gurmo ko swami maharaj and uh, you can just understand this point that ragunadas ko swami pad and uh, slowly steadily you can go ahead in your bhajan you can go ahead in your bhajan so in bhakti rasamrit sindhu on the basis of bhakti rasamrit sindhu what kind of vichar we are actually developing that is the authentic vichar that what is on the base the what is not at all written on the basis of uh, bhakti rasamrit sindhu and it is just made by the mental speculation of a sahajiya then you don't need to follow that kind of particular siddhan because it is on man made that those were actually rupanuga devotees like bhakti vinod you know, thakur and shila bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur that what they have told actually then they, we just need to accept that in our life completely that from bhakti rasamri sindhu that from bhakti rasamri sindhu and sector all this uh, uh, shastra we just need to accept that that we just need to accept those all kind of shastra and otherwise whatever uh, other uh, books we will be reading that of which I don't have which have siddhant virodh when definitely we'll be getting uh, lost in this uh, material world and will destroy our bhakti in bhakti rasamrit sindhu some very important points are actually shared in bhakti rasamrit sindhu what is that that yesterday or that day also i was actually discussing one day before that krishna smaran वॉट काइंड ऑफ पर्टिकुलर रसा दैट काइंड ऑफ पर्टिकुलर साधक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम देन and whatever the actual special taste what is uh, we are finding in some particular brajavasi that kind of actual particular bhav what we are actually liking that we just need to do just by have to remember that have to remember krishna at that time and what kind of seva we are doing according to that bhav particular bhav we just need to meditate on that and what kind of uh, behavior etc is there in between that whatever laughing Uh, speaking whatever we are doing we definitely need to understand that as well that uh, the actual technique of uh, seva sikna 
we just need to understand and just need to learn that from our gurudev agar if our nanda baba ka adarsha seva that we are actually taking the adarsha seva of nanda baba and we are actually taking up the seva of nanda baba then definitely we have to uh, understand the nanda baba as our gurudev and under the guidance of all the prajwasis all the time we just need to do krishna seva under that anugatya so it means that shri krishna is that kind of top most abhishth if some brajwasi parikar under his guidance that kind of bhava we are following that particular bhava and we are actually just established in krishna seva according to that just smaran means just by remembering slowly steadily day by day what it is actually just by slowly steadily just by hearing hearing just by seeing just by hearing just by that is present continuous intense per present continuous tense this word is actually coming smaran karte karte just by uh, and uh, just by remembering slowly steadily slow, so remembering remembering this kind of vichar and with bhav what is there towards krishna and all those other prajwasi we are actually uh, having we are liking that kind of bhava and what kind of uh, difference or alarm is there that kind of bhav is there all the time we just need to remember that we just need to remember that that just by slowly steadily remembering that slowly steadily we will be just getting that kind of material matter automatically and from our own uh, from our own vichar all the time we will be just uh, getting engaged in doing hari hari karta hari katha kirtan and and in just uh, all the time we just need to stay in vrindavan because whatever uh, rag bhakti is there it is uh, not at all outside braj dham we are i am actually not speaking rupanuk bhakti that i am speaking that what is rag bhakti rag bhakti is only possible in vrindavan only it is not at all uh, in uh, dwarka mathura etc only in uh, vrindavan dham uh, under the guidance of those brajwasi we can get that uh, Ra- ragatmik bhakti so whatever is there uh, in between those uh, people that kind of uh, talking they are doing and uh, sometimes if someone in order t- in order to stay in vrindavan it is more good i am actually speaking that to stay in vrindavan because i for me it is not at all possible definitely it will be done if it is not possible physically to stay in vrindavan at least mentally you just need to stay but that also it is very uh, difficult to stay in mentally it's very easy to speak that mentally we will be staying in vrindavan lot of big big mahatmas those who are braj rasik they actually are staying in vrindavan all the time actually they are uh, they are mentally in vrindavan gor kishor das baba ji maharaj externally he is uh, he is actually in navadip dham but inside his heart that kind of vrindavan uh, bhav the all the time he is doing nitya seva in vrindavan so externally we can see that if it is not possible to stay in vrindavan okay at least by your heart and mental uh, reasoning you, by mentally you just need to stay in braj dham that is very much important at that place that that we are actually getting the foreign trip at that place we are actually finding attraction that in that particular land and we are we are having so much uh, in depth uh, bhav and relationship for that particular uh, place what kind of kind of bhav it is very much important to have this kind of bhav that's why the bhav which is already there in vrindavan all the time that kind of bhav if we are actually getting that uh, in other place it is not at all possible to get so that's why minimum to minimum he just need to stay in uh, uh, mentally he just need to stay in vrindavan if physically not possible and the other thing is and the other thing is that uh, in the raganuga mark all in the in the pathway of sadak swarup whatever present body we are getting that according to that my bhajan sadhan is going all the time in that that uh, and inside my heart that uh, by bhagavat kripa and by the bhagavat bhakt kripa and maybe from the previous life also and in this life present life as well in whatever condition we are put into that kind of uh, greediness towards a particular object 
that automatically what will be get greediness will be there inside of our head that drop was speaking all the time that slowly steadily doing harinam all the time slowly steadily will be getting that actual relationship and that actual swarup of our atma under the guidance of that pure rasik acharya or maybe our gurudev is actually there externally present in this material world and then we have to discuss it with other vaishnavas so that we can get the actual confirmation regarding this automatically it will get self manifested that's why this kind of bhava this kind of bhava just by taking that inside our heart slowly steadily inside our heart that kind of bhagwat seva will be doing and externally what kind of seva that will be doing that it both the kind of vichar will be them uh, externally you are just doing your bhajan automatically and inside your heart that uh, kind of all the time uh, all the time he is actually serving in vrindavan with that kind of mood and the second indication we are getting here is that that in uh, ragaloka mark the sadhak the sadhak actually is making use of his own present body in order to serve pure guru vaishnava and bhagwan and by the krip of pure guru vaishnava and bhagwan maybe what kind of greediness is there was previously and what he is getting that kind of greediness slowly steadily by doing hari naam what kind of actual identity will be getting inside our heart that is called siddha swarup in that siddha swarup only that inside our heart that kind of abhishta to do krishna seva which is actually suitable to do krishna seva we just need to accept that that in brajamandal just by staying that in brajamandal so that what kind of rati and bhav and that kind of greediness we just need to take that and continue all the time we just need to do krishna seva and under some un, under the anugatya of those mahajans all to not anukaran we just need to do anusaran of those pathways shown by our mahajans and automatically we will get that seva pravritti automatically that pravritti towards uh, prema bhakti will we will get that this is very much important and necessary to do that that kind of seva seva vritti inside inside the heart inside the, the i have already told it uh, from the previous previously as well that whatever our material mind is that what kind of bhavna or bhav is there inside our heart that whether we have to serve gunjari gunmanjari or ragmanjari it is not like that definite i have already just discussed it before and the third thing is third thing is the third thing is the most important that those who are actually just established in bhakti and what kind of shravan kirtan etc those who are, what are the actual limbs of the bhakti that according to the adhikar of the actual uh, limbs of the bhakti what we have done all those pandit people that kind of are in ramanuga bhakti also that according to the their own um, establishment they just need to they can understand the actual utility of a particular uh, uh, limb of a bhakti and for it for each and every person it is all the different i have from a very long time maybe from the 60 years back this kind of thing i am actually maybe like it will be 70 years as well i have already just heard it from someone that from the top most vaishnav i have heard that that sometimes one day in purushottam dham at in a special temple some so all the devotees maybe our all our guru varak shila ban go swami maharaj shila madhav go swami maharaj shila bhakti gurumat puri go swami maharaj shila yadgar go swami maharaj all actually have just came to that mat and they will be and in the in the name of some festival at that time immediately some devotee those who has who has become acharya after that that is called gopanand ban maharaj he actually just questioned ban goswami maharaj that who is the actual acharya of the actual uh, uh, seat of ban goswami maharaj he actually just questioned that actually maharaj that according to the body of vichar on the basis of the body of vichar we are actually definitely have to do ragunuga bhajan only why actually we are following the vidhi mark what is the actual uh, uh, thing to follow this vidhi mark why we are actually following that so much strict rules and regulations we are actually following what is the actual thing to follow all this strict rules and regulations
Shila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj Samban that all the other God Brothers all other God Brothers have just uh, came together and speaking that uh, who will be that who will actually be giving the answer to this question only Shila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj will give the answer to this question so in some people that uh, some people actually thinking about the vichar of uh, Srila Ban Goswami they will not be uh, have rea- they are reacting uh, reacting to that uh, uh, vichar of Srila Ban Goswami Maharaj in uh, other way someone actually questioned Ban Goswami Maharaj I have practically seen that that someone actually questioning Ban Goswami Maharaj regarding the jivas inside the jiva someone questioning to Ban Goswami Maharaj that kind of uh, that kind of Sat Pravirta Bhakti what is there inside the jivas that Jeeva Goswami I have already discussed that how and how I will be discussing it tomorrow on this point that how Bhagwan that uh, inside the heart of all the devotees he is there and all the time he just want to give this bhakti to each and everyone I will be discussing it tomorrow this point definitely Srila Bhakti Pramod Kuri Goswami are actually speaking that maybe that we are actually following the Raganuga Mark. We are actually the Sadhu of Raganuga Mark, but still, that we just need to follow the Vidhi Mark with full perfection. We just need to follow Vidhi Mark. Why? Because that's why that all those acharyas those who are acharya they are just by their own will externally this kind of raganuga that kind of which are for raganuga bhajan they will not be showing it externally because all the bonded jivas they will be thinking in the other way if he will be thinking one way then he will be thinking the opposite way as well that's why with full strict rules and regulation Prabhupada Bhakti Nuthakur Shridhar Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj is at that time so much actually strict at that time also that even he has just categorized has and parted into two, term into two parts. That Rasa Tattva is totally different. So that if some Sahaja actually just going to uh, hear that, then definitely a lot of Sahajas are there in Gaudiyamath also. So that's why Keshav Goswami Maharaj that he is speaking that they don't have any adhikar to just read this rasa tatta they are actually up to this point also Paramuja Keshav Goswami used to speak that in this situation don't do yam girtan at all so it will be more good if you will not be doing that because all the bonded jivas they will be thinking uh, opposite then they, uh, all bhakti will just get destroyed in them so that's why in order to save them and that's why Harikata Kirtan he just need to hear that slowly steadily definitely he will be getting the advantage in his life this kind of uh, time will definitely come he will be understanding the actual thing and he will be just getting established in that rag bhajan naturally this is not a forcible forcible concept there is no place for force to do rag bhajan that's why Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj Paramahansa Gurudev that what I have told you that uh, see you in the child you, you, you see just by doing a bhajan in the pathway of Vidhi Mark when we will be getting habituated to do now actually you don't ask that just if I am speaking just to get up 3 to 3.30 am in the morning he is speaking that oh Maharaj very difficult to just uh, uh, get up at 3.30 because they have a very uh, strong uh, dream strong uh, uh, but if they will be following a pure Guru Vaishnav under their pure guidance they, if he is not at all actually uh, getting up at 3.30 am or whether his sleep is not at all broken at that time definitely the kind of uh, black festival will be made Oh Maharaj, my whole bhajan actually is gone today. He will be just thinking, uh, why? Because bhajan definitely will be getting in the morning time only. No, in the morning time only it is possible. Our Guru Varg always used to speak that heart, that heart, heart, you know, heart, whatever is going. All those kind of uh, nice sabji when you will be going very early in the morning. 
you will be getting a very nice uh, air inside your heart just by seeing that it is just like a very dry and uh, old food so it's like the same if you are doing bhajan of naam hat if you will be doing naam bhajan under in naam hat so definitely you just need to get up at 3:30 3:30 3:30 to 3:30 am it is very much important to bhajan sadan because in brahm muhurat what kind of bhajan you can do that you can't do well you can't do that kind of attentive bhajan at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock maybe for all those mahapurush it is not at all any difference for that for them to do bhajan at any time so that's why maharaj ji actually speaking that he actually uh, oh child you just need to do bhajan like this and slowly steadily automatically inside your heart that kind of natural attraction or greediness you will be feeling for krishna automatically you will feel that now with forcible forcible mood in vidhi marg is actually just uh, getting adaptive oh we just need to do just need to go there and just need to take prasadam and after that you just go to kirtan and if someone actually just uh, speaking you are actually now to gorg shoda baba ji you are not going to kirtan then it is totally the opposite way definitely gorg shoda baba ji all the time is doing kirtan so you can't uh, force him to do uh, the vedi 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 uh, rules and regulations forcible you will be just uh, just uh, drowning him in the uh, rules and regulations that you just need to do kirtan other you will not get uh, any prasadam in the but so it is totally wrong for gorge to das baba ji maharaj that's why in the topic of uh, bhakti rasamrit sindhu also what prabodhan saraswati pad that uh, lot of shlokas i have already discussed and i don't have any time to just discuss it again and again because so much in depth vichar is there regarding that so in this kind of in this uh, what kind of vichar is there that slowly steadily that uh, he will become raganuga this kind of adhikar he will be definitely getting in his life because bhaktivinod thakur that kind of uh, instruction of bhaktivinod thakur cannot become uh, cannot be a lie shadinata ratno jane rag marve korai pravesh fir pehle before sometime how to do seva and uh, in sadak in sadak swarup we just need to do seva in with our present body we have to do seva and there are two kinds of seva one day from inside that said seva you will be doing the seva and externally you will be doing according to vidhi marg it looks like that but you just need to maintain that seva like shila bhakti pramod puri goswami maharaj whole life what he has done he has done archan externally you can see that so even a normal uh, person who is actually foolish number 1 he is actually speaking that uh, maharaj ji is actually karish devotee all the time he is doing archan but this foolish person don't know that kind of archan what bhakti mein puri ko swami maharaj is doing that is that seva what shila bhakti pranod pura ko swami maharaj is doing he is actually doing in the seva in yog peeth and vrindavan this is not uh, a seva like a normal pujari but who can understand this point who can understand this point that what kind of kripa or a person can get it can manifesting automatically that kripa inside the heart only by logical arguments and interpretation cannot get kripa at all so pehla shlok the first shlok i have already told you kishnam that janan cha suprishtam nij samitam tat katha ratas cha so kuryat basam prajivisata e charcha this i have already discussed dusra shlok and the second shlok seva sadak rupena shiddh rupena chatrahi tad bhav lipshuna karya prajo loka anusara This I have already discussed with you. The third thing which I want to discuss. Manishivi 
so nice uh, answer it's given in this actually you can understand you can uh, some misconception can come regarding this but uh, their sahajiyas all these are actually just uh, giving all kind of misconceptions in front of us their actual role is that only just to just uh, represent a very nice thing in a very shadowy thing their their actual role is like that only they will not represent the actual thing in an actual manner their role is like that बिकॉज वैन प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू ऑल दोज गोड एड गोट इज ए डोंट गो देयर यू कम हेयर एंड जस्ट डोंट गो देयर दे आर ऑल सहजियाज प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली जस्ट स्टार्ट इड क्राइंग लाउडली ओ डोंट गो देयर दे आर एक्चुअली सहजिया नंबर वन एंड सहजिया एक्चुअली जस्ट बाई क्राइंग आउट लाउडली दे हैव जस्ट प्रोटेस्टेड विद प्रभुपाद दैट यू आर सहजिया वी आर नॉट वाई यू आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग अ सहजिया प्रभुपाद स्पीक यस वी आर सहजिया Yes, we are Sahajya. Definitely, we are. We actually accept that. Why? That we are uh, the actual uh, goal of Vrindavan. That a prakrit. That actual topmost uh, no artificial bhav. That kind of seva mood. There is no artificial there. There. That topmost natural bhav. That is actually already there in inside our heart. That God image. That's why we are actually. We are sahajya, but we are transcendental sahajyas, a prakrit sahajya of that goal of Vrindavan. We are also sahajya. We are actually a prakrit sahajya, and you are actually all prakrit sahajyas, prakrit material sahajya. You are. There is a lot of difference between that. So nice answer, Prabhupad given. So this by these three shlokas, we can understand that in Bhakti Re Samre Sindhu. in said that that raganuga adhikar in that prasang we can these kind of three shlokas uh, these three shlokas are already mentioned in that i have already told you previously that krishna smaran already cleared second is seva that this already covered and the third shlok it is very much important to understand that shlok first shlok we already heard but uh, we are actually forgetting that no so what we have already forgetting we just need to remember it more we just need to hear it more it means that the first shlok it is not at all valuable and second shlok is also not valuable it's not like that the third which are what we are going to hear we can't remember that so bhakti puditani tu jani angani cha tani atro vigyani manishri this actually it's told uh, it's said there the first is that all the time you have to remember shri krishna just by remembering shri krishna by this pravachan what we are listening that indication that it is actually indicated in that raganuga mark that the smaran karya is the topmost that is the predominating factor why because rag where there is rag there definitely remembrance will be there there i'll give you one example like the case that your child is there your child is there and your child actually will be going to school and your child will be going to the school what is your actual duty for your child you all the time know that you will not forget or you will not forget your actual duty towards your child that when the child will come what you just need to do it's all the time the sub remembrance is there because priti and smriti all the time they are in interrelated to each other where there is no priti definitely smriti remembrance will also be not there where there is remembrance their priti will definitely will there there this is the actual rules because rag that is the actual mansik dharma that is the topmost transcendental aprakrit mansik dharma anurag that is the topmost transcendental uh, uh, mental dharma that nijo that shri vindavan shri krishna chandra not janamascha that that is the actual prayojan tattva that is shri krishna that seva what we are liking towards krishna what kind of seva that what kind of seva that nijo samihitam what you like from heart what you deserve so so andar mein inside the heart your heart jo so that the like jo dil mein hai 
that that a tortoise is there that from a very far distant place i'll be just discussing it tomorrow in this in more details about this vishay that i'll give i'll give you one example regarding a tortoise i think so you will definitely get cleared about this example tortoise actually after just or uh, uh, after giving the eggs yeah that tort she tortoise actually is just uh, uh, just uh, uh, just uh, hiding all his eggs in inside the sand or inside the mud because this tortoise he tortoise actually that he tortoise is there he actually will take up the eggs he will eat that that's why the she tortoise is actually taking all the eggs inside the mud so that and after that she is actually going very far away from that particular place where the eggs were there if she will be uh, just uh, uh, taking the eggs uh, nearby then the male he tortoise will definitely take that and he will be doubting it and he will be just taking up the eggs in his mouth but the she tortoise but the she tortoise her attention is all the time there it is there on that eggs what she has get uh, there but that hatching mental hatching she is giving to those eggs she is very much far away from that particular place where the eggs were there but she is actually doing mental hatching from a very far distant place but you will not feel any kind of confidence in this thing but this mental hatching is still possible in this material world internally inside his mind that material mental hatching is going after that the uh, uh, ch- ch- child were born from that tax if in material uh, world that by mental hatching the child can get out of by mental hatching the why it is not possible about that transcendental world why it is not possible you let me know definitely it is possible in each and every case it is possible that by the kripa of guru by getting the kripa of guru vishnu we can just understand that particular point so it means that all the eternal passions of krishna how that that what is there inside that kind of hidden bhav is there inside our heart if i like that towards krishna उज्जवल are already manifested in the there that unnat ujjwal bhav those who have already there in that that is the top most and those persons who that shri dam vasudam sudam they are having different kind of bhav they are actually can if they are feeling attraction for that particular one they can uh, follow that and mentally it already it's followed uh, written there about prajavasis that i have already told you that by the kripa of bhagwan i have already told you that by the body of a sadak internally and externally both he just need to do that what kind of indication you are getting regarding your swarup and bhav according to that inside your body that kind of siddh swarup what kind of indication you are getting according to that you just need to do seva that prajavasi you are taking the actual the or prajagopika you are taking that actual bhav you just need to do that uh, take that bhav with full greediness and lobha you just need to follow that if that unnat ujjwal bhav is just getting inside your mind and how to do seva in that case that how in by mentally only it is possible to do seva with your mental mind only by mentally you can just serve that because whatever mentally you are kind of doing seva in that that kind of manas upkaran mental that flowers for man everything is actually mentally you are offering to krishna with the seva mood and and if it you are not at all doing in mentally uh, doing then in vidhi mark all that that with your physical body you are doing that then then you just need to in order to make parmana you just need to have some milk and rice you need and you need very fine sugar and fine rice a lot of things you required physically and munakka kaju kishmish everything dry fruits you need for that but you don't think like that that it is more practical to do 
बिकॉज देर एक्चुअली नो काइंड ऑफ कॉस्टिंग और नो काइंड ऑफ मनी विल बी गन मेंटली इज गुड वी कैन सर्व कृष्णा इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट नो इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल इन द स्टार्टिंग इट इज ऑल एक्चुअली फुलिशनेस इफ यू आर थिंकिंग लाइक दैट यू इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल लाइक दैट सो वॉट टू डू इन दैट केस सो दो पीपल दे आर एक्चुअली डूइंग मेंटली सेवा लाइक शेला भक्ति मनोहर पुरी गोस्वामी महाराजा can i have seen him doing uh, the mental seva he has just indicated me i am not speaking too much about that mentally that with full mental conception you just need to go into that uh, uh, transcendental boat with that material bhav inside your heart you will be and with your material mind you will be doing that it is totally wrong i'll give you one example regarding this like the case in the south india at the bank of kekavari river one brahman in brihad bhagavatamrit from 2 years back i have already told this point very very before lot of time before at the bank of kekavari uh, river he is actually just offering bhog to narayan mentally he has just made mental parmana with his mind mentally and with the men- mental mind he is actually mentally he is actually offering parmana to krishna narayan so i am giving you two examples so that you can feel confidence in that after that offering it to narayan whether it is uh, that situation to offer it to krishna is good or not so that because krishna can feel some kind of jealousy on his fingers so that's why he just uh, touched the parmana mentally and after that he is just got that fiery feeling inside his finger and the narayan from up stay up sir from up is actually just laughing by seeing the situation of his devotee you see he has just made the parmana and after that the parmana is actually very hot and he has just put his fingers mentally in that parmana and his fingers just got uh, fired up and when he just uh, opened his eyes then it definitely uh, in a real his uh, hands were actually burned up how it is possible i this is my question shri laragunath das go swami pad has just offered parmana to bhagwan mentally and uh, at the night time he has taken mentally that prasadam of that parmana and uh, in the morning time he has just got indigestion prajwasi just uh, uh, called all the doctor the local doctor there that that he has just maharaj, checked the pulse and is speaking maharaj, that maharaj why actually you have taken parmana at so much lunch so much parmana you have taken at night time brajwasi actually just started laughing are parmana is a very far distance thing this baba ji he actually this is actually all that he is taking matha after 2 to 3 days why actually he will be taking parmana he brought doctor 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 speaking actually my testing will not be failure you can ask baba that whether it is true or false otherwise i will just leave my doctor doctorship you just ask baba and after ragnada stop baba actually speaking yes i have mentally i have taken parmana i have offered it to krishna and in at the very late night i have taken prasadam that's why indigestion just came so you see that topmost magic is there in krishna bhajan and i will give you another example in dwarka when all those narad rishi muni etc have just uh, just made one kind of joking with them that yadav vanshi have just made joking and they are actually just putting one uh, curse on them definitely uh, one kind of uh, they have just cursed him that uh, that kind of sharp object will be taking birth inside their womb because uh, rishi muni knows that they are just joking with us he, she is not a he is not a girl he is just acting in front of us so that's why and definitely in reality that kind of sharp muscle is just came that it is just made of very sharp steel that kind of thing just get uh, manifested in the womb of that uh, and he is just uh, running there and just uh, speaking in the dharma sabha what happened he is just speaking that this kind of situation has just raised uh, we are just actually just uh, laughing with all the rishi munis and they have just cursed us regarding this that go this the mushal will definitely the the who will definitely destroy all the yadu vansh that kind of sharp metal object will just get um, uh, formed inside your womb so what it definitely in reality it just uh, happened so the object in a very fine form in the 11th canto bhagwan has just told a lot of vichar bhagwan is speaking in 11th canto 
लाइक भगवान दास बाबा जी महाराज ही एक्चुअली स्टेइंग इन कालना एंड हाउ एक्चुअली ही इज गोइंग टू वृंदावन धाम विदाउट एनी टिकट एंड विदाउट एनी रिजर्वेशन इज गोइंग टू वृंदावन हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर बाबा जी महाराज बाबा जी महाराज इन कालना एंड देर इज वन कैटल शीप एक्चुअली गोइंग हो जस्ट रन अवे वाई बिकॉज दैट कैटल और शीप इज जस्ट टेकिंग द तुलसी प्लांट एंड इज ईटिंग द तुलसी प्लांट देयर सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल रियलिटी मे बी टूडे और टूमारो यू एन ऑल्सो फील दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस मे बी टूडे और मे बी टूमारो और मे बी सम सिचुएशन विल डेफिनेटली राइज बट यू डू वन थिंग दैट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव यू जस्ट नीड टू हेयर दिस हरी कथा ऑल द टाइम यू जस्ट नीड टू हेयर मे बी टूडे और टूमारो और मे बी सम डे इन साइड योर हार्ट यू विल डेफिनेटली दैट कॉन्फिडेंस विल बी सेटल्ड इन साइड योर हार्ट एंड इन द विदि मार्क जस्ट बाई फॉलोइंग दैट स्लोली दैट स्लो एट स्टडली यू विल ऑल्सो बिकम रागनुग सो वॉट एवर बी द केस टूडे आई विल बी एक्चुअली गिविंग रेस्ट अप टिल दिस पॉइंट बिकॉज इट इज़ वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गिव रेस्ट अप टिल दिस पॉइंट इट इज़ वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गिव रेस्ट बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ सेवा इज देयर अप फ्रंट सो वॉट इज द वॉट इज द एक्चुअल लीलो ऑफ भगवान द टू डे कथा मे बी भगवान इज जस्ट पनिश मी आई सो मच कथा एक्चुअली इज गोइंग ऑन एंड इन साइड माई हार्ट नो फॉल्स ही को शुड कम इन साइड माई हार्ट सो दैट्स वाई आई डोंट हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ मूड फॉर मी बट इन दिस व्रत आई हैव जस्ट गॉट दैट पनिशमेंट फ्रॉम भगवान मे बी ही हैज गिवन मी सो दैट आई शुड नॉट फील एनी काइंड ऑफ फॉल्स इंग इन साइड माई हार्ट ब्रज मंडल परिक्रमा ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ जस्ट बाई द कृपा ऑफ कृष्णा आई हैव डन दैट नो फॉल्स इंग इज देर इन साइड मी इवन अ स्मॉल एंड हैज एन पिटन मी I haven't become uh, ill also, just uh, to give me forcefully, just by just uh, my voice has just choked. Bhagwan has just tested me. How much actually if I am? I have lot of desire to speak Hari Katha, but how I can't speak Hari Katha? It's just like uh, I am on the dead bed, uh, bed, uh, dead bed. So everything can be possible by Bhagwan. What to do? क्षमाताजी पदपल्लव प्लव महत्पद पूर्णयसु मुरारे भवांबुदीर्वत्सपद परम पद 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 यद नतीसा बांछकल्पतुष्टि कृपा सिंधु भोज पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नो